to the bottom. Okay, let's let me try. You guys, this is rough because I didn't bring my tripod, but I just want to show you guys because this is requested. comes in and this is the dialyzer there are different dialyzers um we just don't have that hypoallergenic dialyzers so we get started before everybody starts popping up hopefully i'm in good view all right so i'm just show y'all this is actually the top of the dialyzer, but the way I do mine is I start on the bottom, okay? So, can you see that? Yes. Sometimes you gotta bring it up. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting my, this is your extra corporal circuit. I think I'm saying the word right. But you start with the clear end on the left put it up in there, press the start button to get the spin, and then, I usually take this, everybody does this different, but your red end wants to, you want that to be on the right side of you, facing the, when you're facing the machine, but I usually just bring this guy up, Oop. then I'm going to place my arterial chamber in. Then my T, this is the T shape. And I'm gonna bring it closer. I just want y'all to see it from afar. Take off your thingies while you're, these are tangled and stuff. And you wanna clip or clamp everything, close your clamps as you're going. Um, so this one you definitely wanna close this is your transducer and you don't want to get your transducer wet so this you're gonna have these paper parts that are connecting it <laughs> sometimes the lines come intertwined so all kind of mixed up like that so I just took that apart so I don't I don't clamp my arterial now I'm gonna just show y'all how I did it Instead of me keep saying it, what other people do. This just works for me. I'm gonna place this in the bucket on the side. Boom. And I'll show you the bucket. And then this is my saline line right here. So I'm just taking these off. And I place my, um, can you see it? Yeah. What is it? the top to my saline my saline uh, needle there we go I place this cap right here I will show you Hold on. and then and you want to use gloves as you see that I have on when you're doing when you're touching the machine period so now my saline is going through I don't want to move the thing. Can you see? The saline, if you see right here. Saline is going through. I put my saline line behind. And then I have my venous chamber there. So my arterial chamber is priming. The arterial chamber primes by gravity. So I'm going to put this. And you don't want these lines, sometimes they face this little silver part right here, the venous part, you don't want them to face it because when it tests, it won't test right. So now I'm just doing it. I don't clamp this. I clamp everything except the big clamps. 
all the little clamps you go through see how this is not connected oh okay <laughs> this has to be connected i missed the part okay rewind once you connect once you put it into your wheel i'm over here thinking about the water in the back you want to connect it to your arterial to your dialyzer bottom i probably have to do this again oh gotta go to the back throw this away. Some people keep it, but I wonder if I remember what I do. And you just go back. Remember to clamp everything except your saline line. So now I'm going to clamp my big arterial. I'm going to use my little itty bitty my tail of my arterial. Fill it up. And press my prime button. Press prime. Set your. So it's not called a wheel. I cannot think what it's called. Wait this very second. You see? It's priming. Let me show you. See that? y'all sometimes the lines are messed up so i don't even know if y'all saw how i was tangled around here sometimes the lines are messed up like this should be filling but by the time i test this machine if it doesn't pass the test then i'm just gonna restring it because that's gonna that's gonna mess me up gonna mess me up big time and have me set back so I'm gonna go to the back um, and check my water but I'm gonna show y'all the bucket that's usually on the side bucket right here I did I I clamped my arterial in order to fill my arterial I keep Sorry, I keep my venous open in order for the water to come out. But y'all see the water. Oh, now the venous is coming. You see that? This is the venous chamber. Now we'll see. It's acting funny. I usually give it a chance. You hear? Water. That's how you know. And then look at this bucket. I mean, look at this bucket. Look at the saline bag. You know if it's primed, if your saline bag is usually about four, but I primed more for the uh, arterial. But if this saline bag is still up here, you didn't prime. See, I'm gonna show y'all. I did my other machines already. Primed. Other machine is primed. Prime. So now I just gotta get it ready for testing purposes. So uh, this is part one and I'll come back with a part two.